Hey guys, it's Annie here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're making copycat bath bombs from Lush. This is the galaxy style. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I typically post videos about DIY and meal ideas, so if you're interested in those, please stick around. So the first thing that we're going to do is make the little gold crystals that appear in these galaxy bath bombs. I see a lot of people using sprinkles, but we're going to use Epsom salt today. So I'm just giving it a base color right now with egg yellow from Americolor. It's a little bit too orange, so you can go a little lighter than this. And then I'm just going to sprinkle in some gold luster dust. This is going to give the gold shine that we want. I think this is good for me, so I'm going to stop here. Moving on to the dry ingredients, I'll have all the ingredients up on the screen as well as in the description box below. Mix all of your ingredients in one large bowl and set aside while we work on your oils. You can mix together your water and colorant. I'm using food coloring here, but any kind of water-soluble dye would work. And then you're going to add in your oil of choice. I'm using coconut oil here and you need about a tablespoon. And the next thing that you're going to add is optional, it's called polysorbate 80. And what this does is it's an emulsifier for your oils and water. And you can see here that everything kind of blends together perfectly once I add this ingredient. Now the next ingredient is your fragrance of choice. I am just using um, a typical fragrance, it's not a essential oil or anything. And then you're just going to add this liquid in batches into your dry ingredients and then mix it together with a spatula first and then moving on with your hands so you can really squeeze it and mix it well. So once it clumps up, you're good. And just do the same with the other two colors, which is yellow and blue. Now let's work on building our bath bombs. I start with one layer and I add some Epsom salt along the edges before adding my next layer. And I kind of repeat this until I get to the top of my mold. You just want to pack it lightly as you go, but don't do it too much because most of the packing should come from when you put the two halves together. Now squeeze it really really hard and you want to give it a twist to see if the mold will come off away from the bath bomb. If your formula is correct, it should come away easily and if it doesn't, you can always just leave it in the mold overnight and I'll mold it the next day. So I decided to go a step further and put makeup powder on some of my bath bombs and one is because I want it to look a little bit shinier and I also want to get the blue a darker deeper blue than it is currently. You can just use your fingers to rub this directly onto the bath bombs.
So this is without the Mika powder. And this is with the Mika powder. Let me know in the comments below which one you guys prefer. And now let's see it in action. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. And I'll see you guys next time. 